Hey y'all, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have just greenery winter full spoilers. We're gonna pop this puppy open. If you're new, Just Greenery is a subscription that comes out quarterly, four times a year, and it sends greenery, a bouquet, wreath, or both, depending on which one you subscribe to. Three options. The bouquet only is $69.99. The wreath only is $49.99. And if you get both, like I do, it's $109.97. And they coordinate, they don't match, and they coordinate with past items, and they don't match. So you can have gorgeous florals throughout your home and you don't have to do any work at all. Uh, shipping here in the US, coupon code the pink envelope gets you 10% off your first box and a subscription. Down below, I do have a complete breakout of each of the different boxes. So the spruce up, which is the bouquet only, how many stems, what you can expect, and it goes through all those details down below if you wanna go take a look at that. But typically it's 18 to 24 different stems. Ooh, I don't know which side to open it from. Ah, let's do like this. <laughs> 18 to 24 stems, um, some dried, some faux, and you don't have to get both. You can just get bouquet or just wreath. But if you do get both, I'm about to spoil it for you. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's just ginormous. Okay. How do I want to do this? I'm going to put this over here. I'm going to show you the wreath first and then I'll pull out the bouquet because it looks like the bouquet is actually nestled underneath and I don't want to mess it up. So let me slide this down here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I feel like this is going to give us a much better presentation. <laughs> So it is a winter inspired, and I know there's so many of you who keep saying we need winter, not Christmas. Well, here you go. If you want to make it Christmas, you could add it. If not, it is winter inspired, and it is on a grape vine wreath, so it's going to be really, really easy to hang. Primary colors are blue, green, and gold. We've got frosted eucalyptus all throughout. We have the, the blue leaves and the blue berry type, and I, I don't know if it's a blueberry blueberry or just a blue berry, but those are throughout. We've got the Christmas stems and then we've got the touches of gold throughout. Oh, and we do have a little bit of silver in here. Okay, because there's a lot of you who don't like when it's just gold. So this actually works really well. There is a balance in gold and silver in this. Uh, everything is faux in this one. So if you wanted to hang it out on a patio, put it on the centerpiece of a table that is outdoors, hang it on a front door, hang it on a brick wall, it would be more able <laughs> to withstand. I'm not saying that Just Echo recommends putting these outdoors. However, any of the ones that don't have specialty drives in it, I have put them outdoors and I've not had a single problem. Protected covered outdoors. I definitely need to spruce him because he was down in that box for a bit. Let me kind of do some sprucing on him and then I'll pull out the bouquet because you've got to see it. And honestly, gravity does a lot of this for us. Whenever we go and we put uh, this on the wall, it will naturally start to create more organic droops in the flowers with gravity. The other thing I wanna tell you is, if you're looking at this and you're like, I have to have one more pop of color with that blue, like I'm a more is more when it comes to color, you can add stems to this bouquet. I've done it twice. I think it was in the spring of this year that I wanted more yellow in mine and I added so much yellow. With the grapevine base, you can hot glue it in or you can just push it in. It makes it really easy to add stems. So if you're looking at this and you're like, dang, I just wish it had, hop on Amazon, run to Hobby Lobby or Joann's real quick, grab, I mean, if you buy a bundle, you may only need one. And we're talking about a couple bucks. And then tuck it in to this guy to give it that unique curation towards whatever color scheme you're doing in your home. Okay, let's grab this guy. Here is the bouquet. He's definitely a little more smushed than <laughs> that guy was. So we're gonna get him out, play with him, and then spruce him and liven him up, and then we'll go decorate with him. So, 
they have it done. Like you don't have to design the bouquet. It's done. Now, if you're like me and you like to change and create things, you can design the bouquet. Also, if you're adding anything into this, maybe get a couple more to add to this to create that coordination through your home. But they do have, what are these called? Calla lilies? Is that right? Am I saying that right? I always have to think about this flower here. They obviously need to sit in a vase like this. They will sit in a vase like this just for a couple of days and they will naturally start to fall open because they've been smushed. Like you can see which way they've been smushed from being in the box. They will open up, I promise. These also are wired. So look how much I'm able to move them. You do not have to keep them in a bundle like this. You can separate them depending on what you want to do. So yeah, these are really easy to open up and to bend. So let me just kind of do this and I'll show you because I feel like you're going to be able to see them better now. So there's the colors right there. And they're wired so you can adjust them to your leisure. And then below your base of lilies is this guy. Oh, I am going to undo it because I want to be able to show you guys. But it's so perfectly wrapped. We've got lamb's ear, which once again, get to fluffing. Sista needs some fluffing after being in her box. The same berry blueberry guys that are in the wreath. There is a bundle of them right here. We have these pops of white. And these guys here, I love this part in them. And then right behind that is the pop of gold. And it's the exact same gold that's in the wreath, except the wreath is a leaf and these are gold berries, coordinating, not matching. And then in the back, let me just lift all these over here. You have a mix of all of your different Christmas greens in here. And they're all put together. If I were you, I'd separate them and fan them out. I love a good greenery fill. So you've got these right here whoop, that I would use as filler in between the bouquets. These like more spearmint stems filler and then create these to create your background. Now, of course, if you're doing a 360 bouquet, it's a little bit different, but the way I'm describing it is a flat back. And I'm actually going to show you this in a vase in just a second. Yeah, these all look, that was completely 100% flat and look how much they spruce. So see this, these adjust really, really easy and they're not wired. They're not stiff. It's more like they're just, I don't know, moldable. I guess maybe there's a thin wire instead of it being like that really bulky wire. Okay. I took the tie off of these. I was so debating whether I was going to do that or not, but this is what I decided. So if I'm designing this guy here and I kind of have him like this, so as you can see, it's opened up now. I've taken all of them and spruce them to give them life. I think I want to tuck these throughout. Now I'm going to tell you right now that right there is gorgeous. So if you just want to do a separate bouquet with your callas, you could absolutely do that. Otherwise, start finding spots to tuck them in to add those pops of that frosted blue throughout. So let me do a few and then I'll turn it back towards you because I'm terrible at designing this direction. Okay, I only added four to this collection. Remember with your callas, they can stick any direction because they're pretty from the pointed side or the open side. There it is with four, but for those of us who are more is more, So that's the tricky part about designing by hand. You have to like put it in, but there's not a vase. You can't let too loose, they'll all fall out. There we go. The one spot I wanted that in, of course. Okay. I want these berries to pop. I've got one more, so I gotta make it count. Where do I wanna put her? Oh. Do I wanna come more in back here? like this. Oh, I feel like you can't, s oh, well, the half in the background is kind of pretty though. Okay. What do we think about that? Does that work? I guess we got to go put it in a vase. That is the only way to know. Let's go get a vase. Here's what I'm thinking. Had this vase sitting right out there waiting quite literally. Let's see. I'll bend these up.
need... Where do I want this? I want this one to be tall in the back. Okay, so <laughs> this is how, like literally, here, I have one nail left in this wall. We'll put that right there. This is literally how easy it is to decorate with these. <laughs> oh, you can't see the wreath is too far back there. There we go. Like, easy, easy, breezy. With this guy here, you can design these and tuck these in any way you want. And like I said, like don't be afraid to add flowers in to take flowers out. If you're looking at this and, okay, so let's say you're looking at this and you're like, I love it, but the white is too contrasty. That's another one I hear from you guys. There's too much contrast. Watch what happens. I'm gonna take these guys out, can put them in a completely different area. Save them, they're gorgeous stems. You can stack them on top of a book. You can put them in a mini days. There's a lot of areas these can go in. Pull those out, adjust your berries and your callas, and you get that. <laughs> There's no wrong answer. You may be the opposite. You may be looking at this and going, well, I'm not doing a lot of blue in my design. So you wanna pull these guys out and just do the granary with the whites. Like literally, there is no wrong answer in this. You design this to how you look. And then of course, y'all have seen me, I add things to it all the time. And then hang this in the same room or hang it in a different room. I'm trying to decide, uh, did you see the bells that came in the Just Deco unboxing? Um, they're like littler bells. I'll link that video up here. You could like wind those in here and the viral bells, everybody's using bells would be on this wreath and those would be super, super cute integrated into this wreath. So that's another idea that's been kind of noodling through my head as I feel like I have bells on literally everything this season. <laughs> this is the ribbon that came on here. You totally could take that ribbon like this, tie it up and hang your wreath from the ribbon should you want to. I was getting <laughs> ready to pick up the ribbon. I was like, oh my gosh, that would create a really good tie on the wreath. So I'm totally gonna save that because that makes it easier to hang it on a door, in my opinion, when it has a tie. So this is just greenery, winter bouquet and wreath. This is $110 in essence. And you can use the coupon code, the pink envelope to get 10% off. And don't be afraid, especially you guys who are just greenery subscribers already to mix and match your favorite florals from your past bouquets. Um, a question I've been getting a lot is how do I store these? Uh, these guys kind of like in the box that Just Greenery sent these in, I would keep, just keep that box and a couple layers of tissue paper, put this down, tissue paper, put down, you can stack the wreaths because they're very lightweight. I also have a wall in my little shed in my garage. It has pegboards that you can just hang them on there as well. I went to Trader Joe's and got their leftover floral buckets. Like the, you know, they're at Walmart, they're at HB, they're everywhere, those black floral buckets. And I put these in those so they're always standing upright. You can wrap them in tissue paper. Tissue paper is a great way to protect them. You can do tissue paper, then bubble wrap, and then pack them away. I would not put the plastic bubble wrap up against the flowers. And then anything that is real touch, uh, don't store in the heat because it will melt and distort. So those are just tips that from playing with flowers, I know. Okay, you guys, I think I have maybe one or two more unboxings and then we wrap up for the year and we move into Christmas break. Do you have any like super fun plans for Christmas break? We're, we're chilling. Like that is a goal for my, for my family is just to relax. And then we'll come back at the beginning of the new year with the January 2024 monthly haul. So make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. I hope that you guys are having a very Merry Christmas. And if you subscribe to the channel, I'm gonna see you guys later. Bye y'all.